Hey everybody, this is a force of nature, spiritual awakening, and today I'm going to kick off my moon sign series. So I didn't start in order, so it's not going to be from the first sign to the last. I'm going to start off with moon and Aquarius. This is what I was led to do, and even for other ones to come, it's not going to be in order. I'm just going to just pick them, and I'm just going to go with that. So moon and Aquarius, this is a good one too. I mean, all of them are interesting anyway, but moon and Aquarius. First, let's break down what's the moon. The moon is the way that you feel, the way that you process information, the way that you feel on an emotional level. So a lot of times, a lot of people are not going to know your moon from just meeting you. They're not. It's going to have to be somebody that's close to you or really, really, really knows you. Like, it's not going to be any old body. Okay. So it has a lot to do with your instincts. You know, the way that you feel inside. It's a private place. You know, unlike the sun where it's more public, it's just more private, more guarded, you know, and a lot of people, it's hard for people to just get into that space. So the moon also is associated with your mother. So it's going to show you how she treated you, how she mothered you, nurtured you. Um, it also can show um, how she was herself. So a lot of times, um, you know, she could be a, I, I'll get into that in a minute, but anyway, so the moon is also connected to the fourth house. Uh, the fourth house is ruled by cancer. So the fourth house in the birth chart would be the family, um, the home, the domestics, um, you know, those kind of things you know, and your early upbringing. So now Aquarius, what's Aquarius? Aquarius are people that are futuristic, okay? They're innovative, you know, future seeking. Um, they just move to their own drum and they're ruled by Uranus. They used to be ruled by Saturn and years, years, years ago, centuries or whatever. Um, so, but now it is ruled by Uranus. And Uranus is sporadic. It's, it's full of change. It's different, unusual, um, you know, things of that nature. So let's just jump right into this. Moon and Aquarius. Moon and Aquarius are the type of people that are not that emotional. I mean, everybody has emotions, but they just process their emotions in a different kind of way. So if you're feeling a certain kind of way, um, a lot of times you can look at these people and just feel like they're just cold as hell, you know, but it's really not that they're cold as hell. They're just going to give you a logical answer, you know, or say you're going through hard times, you know, they're there to help. They are. They love to help people. You know, they're very sympathetic, um, and empathetic. But at the same time, they know how to detach these feelings so that it doesn't really rub off on them. Because if they have it, like I said, they're ruled by Uranus. So it become too much of a chaotic situation for them. You see what I'm saying? So um, they just know how to decipher and just listen to you, be a listening ear there for you. Um, but it won't seem like they're... I don't want to say genuine because they are, but a lot of times people could perceive it as them being cold because they're giving them a direct answer or they're just straight to the point. You know what I'm saying? So on that note, uh, I know a couple of people that have the moon in Aquarius, the Aquarius moon, you know, and actually, you know, my mom, she's a moon in Aquarius. So they are trendsetters. Um, they're not like a lot of people, you know, but they are great people. You know, they will be the type of person to start something that you never seen before. You know, as far as business, um, careers, you know, opening outlets for people and just, you know, going about and doing things that Stepping out of the norm, doing things that people just wouldn't do or be afraid to do. You see what I'm saying? And that, I think that's a great thing. Um, 
Another thing, a moon in Aquarius, as far as your mother and how she raised you and brought you up, she could have had a lot of Aquarius aspects in her chart. Um, she could have had a lot of Uranus things in her houses. Um, or even, you know, just the aspects in general. She could have had a lot of these placements in her personal chart. And the way that she would have um, brought you up and raised you, she would have been the type of person that, your mother, would have been the type of person that was there but not there for you even emotionally and a lot of times this is where this detached nature even stems from or comes from you know because a lot of times what you see is what you do and then sometimes what you see you'll do the opposite you know so it really just matters on the whole full aspect of your chart so um but a lot of times your mother could have just been doing her own thing or, you know, uh, going out being a businesswoman or she could have just been going out doing her own damn thing, just not even being around. You know what I'm saying? And, and you maybe wanted to talk to her on certain things and maybe she was just more um, shut down on speaking on certain things opposed to just genuinely having this fun-filled conversation with you on certain topics, you know, so it really just depends, um, but moon in Aquarius, as far as relationships, um, I would say anybody that would get involved with a moon in Aquarius person, um, you would just really need to just be patient with them because they, they love their freedom, you know, you cannot just tell them what to do, okay, that's not gonna work, you know, hey, you need to do this, and, um, you need to do that, um, they ain't going to be doing nothing and they ain't going to be there. You see what I'm saying? So, uh, moon and Aquarius people, women and men, they, they, they like to observe. They like to watch. They like to see, you know, where, where this can go. They also would love to have a partner that would be, um, like their best friend, you know, because to them, friendship is a lot of means everything. Um, they're very humanitarian. So, um, they love friendship. You know, Aquarius is ruled by the 11th house. The 11th house is friends and, you know, doing things like that. So, yeah, they're definitely about um, friends that change and, and things like that. So, Aquarius moon. Aquarius moon. What else can I say? <laughs> I mean, I'm trying to go on and on and on. Aquarius moon also... Um, beat to their own drum, like, they just do their own thing, you know, um, and back to the relationship thing, um, they just like freedom, anybody that could be their friend, be their homie, they could kick it with, you know what I'm saying, and y'all vibe on a certain level, they would really love that and appreciate that, but anybody that's, like, possessive or, um, jealous or overly jealous, you know, it's just not gonna work out because they're, they're not into that, you know, um, you, you cannot, it's hard to keep them down, you know, and that's what makes this thing, like I said, about detached and being detached, um, because then they ain't going, <laughs> they not, they ain't going for the okie doke, they're not, but, um, you know, as far as emotions, they do feel things, you know, of course, I mean, everybody feels something. But it's just not as strong as other placements. So with them, you would just definitely see that they are really strongly connected to more of helping people, helping others, and um, things with technology, computers. You know, they could be real good at computers, inventing things, inventors. Um, you know, a lot of inventors have moon and Aquarius and, and a lot of helpers, people that, you know, do charity work. Uh, people that's out there, you know, giving out to the homeless, you know, um, it's just a lot going on with this and, um, they know a lot of shit though, you know what I'm saying? And, and that's the great thing about it. They know a lot of stuff and, it, and it's almost like, you know, they are ahead of their own time, you know? So if people are over here and they 
dancing and partying and all of this, they're going to be doing the opposite. You know what I'm saying? So they're not going to be doing, they could really stand out because they're not going to be doing what everybody's doing. You know what I mean? Like they may come and uh, whatever, but they may be like more to the side or whatever, just laid back, you know, chilling, you know, watching, observing, you know what I'm saying? So it really just all depends. Um, but yeah, definitely back to the mother and, and the way that she raised you, the way you perceived it, you know, you could f have felt like, you know, that she just wasn't, um, there the way or, or showed up the way that you felt like she should have showed up, you know what I'm saying? As a parent, you know, and then again, she could have also been the type that did show up, but it still felt like it was a little detached, a little kind of disconnect, you know? So it, it's really, it's really tricky with that one. It really is. Um, but as far as the moon in Aquarius, I would say that, um, anything that is different, they like. So with a partner, if you doing the same things that everybody else is doing, you know, you're probably not going to catch their eye because they like people that's unusual. You know, they like people that's unique. They like people that are um, maybe even innovative just like them. You know, they have to be able to have an intellectual conversation with you. You know what I'm saying? So they are kind of more on the the thinking, what you think. And the logical, the mental, they're more that than the gushy, ushy, ooh, you know, uh, they're not all like that. But now, at the same time, they could be very romantic. You see what I'm saying? They're romantic in the sense of, you know, they would like to go out with you and have a good time. You know, they would like to sit down and have, like, you know, a conversation over dinner about what's going on in the world, even politics. You know what I'm saying? Um... But to probably just be all over you all the time outside in public and, and things like that, it could happen, but not so often, I would say. Not so often. And um, what else? It's a, it's a lot of uh, famous people that have this placement, um, you know. But I would definitely say that a moon and Aquarius are very unique original, um, different, um, what else, uh, they don't take no shit, you know, especially when it comes down to their feelings and the way that you're going to make them feel, you see what I'm saying, because of that detached nature, they, instead of feeling it, and it's hard for them, and that's another thing, it's hard for them to just express, and maybe that's why it's, they're detached, in that manner, you know, and it may, because they can't express it, and it's not that they can't, it's just hard and difficult for them to express it in the way that they would want you to grasp it, okay, so, even with that, it's like, it's hard for them to even feel how they, you see what I'm saying, feeling, um, so it's hard for them to express it, you see what I'm saying, so, but at the end of the day, you know, that I think that's one thing that they probably do need to master and, and do need to um, try to do a little bit more expressing the way that they really feel or certain things, how they feel, not what they think, okay? Because they know what they think, but how they feel could be something completely opposite. You see what I'm saying? So that's just something that I think that they may really need to, you know, look after because like I said, they're the helpers, they, they're there, they want to help, they love to help. Um, but when it comes to helping them, they probably won't be the first people to ask for help. Okay. Or even be able to receive the help back. And, you know, it might throw them off because they're so used to being that type of person, you know? Um, but they are real great at starting their own business different kinds of businesses too, not the little average ones that you may just see. It'll be something that you never even thought of. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like it may be two businesses in one. You see what I'm saying? It might be somebody doing hair in a salon 
and then they also have nails in the salon. You see what I'm saying? Or you have a salon and you're catering food at the same time. You know what I'm saying? Over here in another room. You know, you, you could pick up some fried chicken. You could pick up some crab legs, you know? So it's really something that's very creative, you know? And that's another thing. I didn't even say that they're very creative, you know? Um, they are also into, like, poetry and things like that, museums, you know? Things that are very, you know, like, cultural. Um, but they, they do not go with the norm so that, you know, they're very different. You know, and they like different people. You know what I'm saying? And that's all I can really say about Moon and Aquarius for right now. But um, stay tuned because I'm definitely going to have another one and another one and another one. And the next one is actually going to be Moon in Leo. Okay, yeah. And that's the opposite of Aquarius. So that, that's going to be good. Um. But yeah, please like and subscribe, um, hit the bell, please. And also, I also have an online store. It's Grimy Gear um, on Shopify. So you can hit Grimy Gear um, Shopify. And we have a lot of different things on there. As well, I also do cater food. So if you need me to make you some food or cater your next event, you can hit me up at Supreme Royale Catering at gmail.com. And all I want to say is this has been the force of nature, spiritual awakening, and I will see y'all on the next one.